about the message. Okay, uh, do we have any couples in the class? In the graduates? Couples.
I'm here, it's not my fault. Uh, and the ladies, you have to promise that you're not going to bring this up later on if they guess and you're not the one they guess. Okay? No waiting like four weeks, four weeks down the road and you're like, so you really thought that was my hand?
a year passed, he went and brought the chair um, to meet the old man back at the bench, uh, because that's what the old man said. He said, meet me back here in one year, and you can take me back. And so that's what he did. He took the chair, and he went to the same place uh, to, to pay him back, actually to give him back his chair, because he, he never used it. Um, while he was sitting, um, his head down, um, he, he raised his head and saw that the old man was walking in his direction. Before he could act, a nurse ran out, ran out after the old man and grabbed him and said, Oh, thank goodness, thank goodness I caught you this time. And he looked at the man and said, He's been telling people that he's, um, what's his name? That he's that rich man, Barnaby. And the guy just stood there as done. And so the lady took the old man back. He was never this rich man. He, he wasn't that. He just thought he was. Um, and the guy, the business executive, stood there, shocked, and didn't really know what, how to respond. And he thought, wow, so this check was fake all along? And so he sat there wondering, thinking about what happened, and what he realized was he never needed that money. He never needed the assistance. All he had to do was regain the confidence that he had before when he started running his company. That's the only thing he needed, and that made all the difference. And that's what I want to remind you today. And um, I'd like to um, remind you that if you're going to remember something about confidence, it's that it can make all the difference. Look at you. You came, you unrolled, you, un you showed up for day one, day two, day three. Now, look, here you are, graduating. Now, let's um, close off. I'm going to... I'm going to conclude by uh, sharing three things I'm confident about today. I'm confident that, one, all of you worked very hard to be here today. And I know that your family and friends are extremely proud of you. Two, I'm confident that at least half of this class will show up at Club Clubbing Go today. Tonight, yes? Cheer if you think I'm right. Cheer. No? Okay. You guys are right. I'm confident at least half of you will be spotted there. At least half. And three. I'm confident that you all, we all, including the folks in the audience, we all have what it takes to be successful and to make our dreams come true. We just need to find it, like the businessman did, and use it. It's there. We just need to find it and learn how to use it. I like to think that life is like a toolbox. It has all these sorts of tools in there for all the types of fixes that you need, all projects, all issues around the house. You just need to find the right tool for the proper job. If you're, if you're tested, uh, try to look for patience. Um, if you're about to give up, try to look for determination. If you feel lost, maybe try prayer. Those are things we already have in our toolbox. You just need to find those things and use them. So go confident, like uh, Mr. Henry Thoreau said. Go confidently. He didn't say go carefully or go fast or go steadily. He said go confidently. He chose this word because he knows that it will make all the difference. So go. Go confidently after your dreams and you will live the life you've always imagined. But before anything else, before you go anywhere, first, Go ahead and give your